That feels good. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> ah. Don't tell my wife this, okay? The future of robotics is here. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another So Conflict Free at CES 2026 with Roboterra. I got Lucas here. Hi. And uh, together we'll be looking at some of their latest robotics. Uh, we got ourselves a bipedal humanoid robot, is that correct? Yes. yes. All right, so uh, can you actually tell me, this is an L7? Yeah, we, it's four names robot era L7. Okay, yeah. and then uh, what, what exactly is this function of this robot? So first of all, it has two very giant torque uh, motor right here. And it oh, offers wow. 400 Newton meters torque, and it's been capable to doing very high performance dynamic, like running, yeah. jumping 360 degree freedom, and doing lots of high weight, uh, weight high payload uh, weight lifting. So it can lift a good amount of yes. weight. Exactly. Do you know exactly roughly how much weight it can lift? So we can do this way to 20 kilogram, if this way probably 30 kilogram, ah. and this way 10 kilogram. Nice. Um, now I'm looking at it, it definitely looks very interesting. I do see some cameras on there looking down, uh, and it is being controlled remotely. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes. Right now we are doing teleoperation where we're using the uh, uh, Meta Quest, this uh, vision system oh. to offer the Pose of the tall body and all the pose of the can as well using the joysticks. Yeah, can you give us a little bit of a demo? Can you like it? Oh, uh, oh and the head, and the head, and the head, yeah. Oh, cool. Can you lean a little bit forward? As you can see, yeah. Okay, awesome. So you can Good see enough. it also has got the gripper function on there. Yeah. And it's very accurate based on what I'm seeing on how he's moving, it's actually doing a very Simultaneously. Consistent. Yeah. That is nice. So uh, this can be controlled teleoperately, meaning somebody else in a completely different location. Yes. And then I'm assuming the use for this would be industrial or what else would you imagine? Currently the high, uh, high performance is designed for industrial. Ah, nice. Yes. Okay. So yeah, that's very cool. And tell me more about the robotic hands that you have here. Oh yeah, sure. This is called X101. We build it by ourselves and also sell it independently. Oh, okay. Currently X101 is the uh, high very high payload with 25 kilograms maximum. Oh, wow. So it's very enough for carrying the weight of boxing, yeah. box, and also sorting the packages. So the robot also has great stability, is that correct? Yeah. So if I go ahead and pull it back, yeah. you'll see that it'll automatically oh. correct itself. Yeah. That's actually pretty good. So I guess the robot has an incredible wingspan, is that correct? correct? Oh, good, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So L7 has very big wingspan from here, from the All the end effector yeah. to end effector. It has 1 meter 38 centimeters. Oh, wow. If it includes a full palm, it's already 2 meters long wingspan. Oh, it really offers very good dex choice manipulation yeah. capabilities. So they can do something over there and they can do something right. over there. Right. So ultimately, it's an industrial sized robot yes. used for the industry yes. uh, and being able to be teleoperated. Yes. Nice. Hi, nice to meet you, L7. <laughs> yes, there you go. Very good. He's being teleoperated in another country. Hi, <laughs> would you like something to drink? Oops. <laughs> yes, you can have this. There you go. I don't think he drinks water though. Yeah. All right, I'll take it back. Don't worry about it. Yeah. The cheers. <laughs> oh, this is weird. Go ahead. You can get a little Thanks. closer. Go ahead. You can get a little closer. Well, yeah, there, there you go. There you go. All right. Ah, oh, I yes. got more. Turn four and a half. Just a little bit to the left. There you go. I got. That's <laughs> right. Yeah, you can YouTube squeeze it. Yeah. You can squeeze it. That feels good. I'll be honest. Ready? All right. Yeah. No. Okay. 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 You're part of. Alright, yeah. You didn't yeah, let yeah. me go. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, <laughs> Bye. Uh, so another cool thing is the gait of the robot. The way it walks is very like natural. Yes, the gait. Can we get a demo of that? Like, sure, yeah. sure. Yeah, it's got a very like natural humanistic walk. I mean, you can just like chill with this guy. 
All right, uh, brah. <laughs> yeah, we're... don't mess with us. Uh, I got my bodyguard with me. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah. This is CES, buddy. <laughs> Look at the crowd he's getting. Yeah, we have big crowd. <laughs> yeah, they're all here for you. <laughs> all for you. <laughs> all right, yeah, let's cruise way. Come on. Rah, rah, rah. Let's go back to the booth. Yeah. Rah. Ah. <laughs> wow. I'll get you. Nice. So we actually have demos in logistic applications. Yeah, I mean, like just some videos on the back of it. Yeah, doing, oh, it's a see, see how it's running? Wow, that's incredible. Now you also have some other things going on here too. I see that you have a, another robot. Is that correct? Yeah, okay. Let's go for let's Go take a look. Um, this is our uh, humanoid called Q5. Okay. It's a wheeled humanoid. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? Q5 is a robot that we designed for customer service and also home services. Okay. So it has a very slim design, you know, overall looking, it look like female. Yes. Just like there's a girl next door. Yeah. yeah and you works. have very slim waist, we call it slim waist. And it has a degree freedom right here. You can bend over entirely oh. with a body. So actually, this robot is capable of doing picking up the but what about on the ground? Oh, so it can pick up and clean your house. Doing the chore for you. There you go. You don't need to worry about it in your weekends, right? Yeah. Uh, can we see a demo? Yeah, sure. Please go for us. So we have a teleoperation demo right okay. now. Oh, it started. Yep. Ah. Uh, so very fluid-like movements. Yeah. And you also have very robotic mm -hmm. hands as well. Yeah. Can you, can you show the hands? Oh, this one will not show the hand. Okay. We have a demo right there. All right, the, so those hands are yeah. applicable with this robot. Same, same one. And can you uh, bend bend down? Can we bend down? Don't shout, don't shout, sits. Ah, see, that's the flexibility. That's cool. We call it the, the service, like the, the Korean Japanese style. Kneel down service like this. Yeah. That is cool. And then you can compact this and put it away. Can you yes. Try? So if you folded the phone about and it will go side into the, a box, deliver to your home. That's so cool. So I can imagine this being inside future homes going yeah, forward. Yeah, and for uh, sure, for sure. Yeah, it can also probably give you a massage too if you like. Uh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> it can massage your legs. Yeah. Your legs. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, go for it. Peace. Oh, I feel violated. <laughs> the, 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 oh, yeah. oh, okay, okay. Oh my God. Ah. <laughs> uh, don't tell my wife this, okay? <laughs> I really like the babies. <laughs> the future of robotics is here. <laughs> that is so cool. Again, very flexible. Yes. Uh, the degrees of freedom are amazing. The way it goes down is very smooth like. Yeah. Uh, and it's not intimidating. You know, a lot of people think robots can be intimidating. Yeah. But I can imagine this being in my house and not a problem at all. Yeah. Guess what? Yeah, well, it's making it hard. No, sir. <laughs> it's it's grabbing. <laughs> And I also see that it's got very similar hands. Uh, these are also made oh, by you guys. Actually, these are even uh, less degree freedom, but okay. it's more dexterous. It yeah. looks better, uh, slimmer, or best looking. Yes, I see it's that. X hand one light. So what you're seeing right now is our family of X hand. Okay. We have three heads. Separately, so, first one you can X hand one light with six active degree freedom and five dependent degree freedom in ah. total eleven. And this X hand one. We have 12 active degree freedom right here. And this X and one Pro is about to launch very soon in March. So for a person like me that, like I have a Unitry G1 at home. Oh, can I nice. install this hand on my robot? Our oh, customer already did so. Oh, wow. Okay. So that, that solves a lot. You know, yes. it says uh, ultimately the robot can only do as much, but when it comes to the hands, that's what really sells the product. Yes. And actually, our customer really like the combination of a Unitrade G1 and our hand. Oh, wow, okay, that's really nice. So it's a it's very... our best seller. Okay, I have to try that then. <laughs> so I can, you can see the hand right over here. Uh, yeah. Now, in terms of the hand goes itself, uh, I see that it is being controlled remotely. Is that, oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is interesting. This is a teleoperation. So yeah, so he's not using any kind of controller. He's just literally using his hands. Teleoperation, yeah. Yeah, that's absolutely amazing. And it's so uh, realistically fast, like the response time. Very fast. Yeah. That is cool. And it's all motor. These are all motor yeah. embedded everywhere uh, in place. So it can actually very fast. Yeah, you can do that. Shake your hand. Can you shake my hand? 
Oh wow, God, it's actually pretty good grip. Very good. <laughs> It has tactile so in the every fingertip. Oh, well. okay, so it can actually uh, detect pressure? Yes. Nice. So if you happen to pick something up, they'll relay that message back to you. Yes. Uh, we are about to launch this one. So what's so unique about the X-Hand is Pro? x Pro has 21 degree of freedom in total. Oh, oh actually, and yeah, each okay. joint is separately, actually, as you can from the yeah, see there. that on the computer screen. Again, real-time display. Real-time display, yeah. Now, one thing I also noticed about your hands is that they also can go like this. They could spread. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, that sure. one right there. Sure, sure, sure. I can do this demo right there. Yeah, that is cool. That that actually helps a lot with uh, being able to grab things. Yeah, and we have very uniquely have tactile coverage for every single area, including your palm. Yeah. Oh, wow. You yeah, see, put it right there. Pressure points on the screen over there. Yeah, yeah. It, we call it a poor tactile coverage. Yeah, for the for the whole hang. Yeah, even onto the side too over here. Side here, and then even here, as you can see. So one thing I really like about your hands is that the thumb is not huge. You know, usually most of the, the thumbs are usually like really thick, but this looks very human-like. We design this one differently so that it can be more dexterous. Yes, I see that. On this one, and this surface, the tactile, the fingers is right now is very very uh, small, and yes. also the tactile is very slim. Uh, the finger is very slim. That is awesome. The finger is very slim. All right, well, yeah, that's perfect, man. No, thank you so much. Um, and with that said, if you guys have any questions, check out the link down below in the description. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.